Hi, I'm Nick Pearson, two-time Olympian and U.S. Speed Skating Program Coordinator. Today to do a Norton Sharpening Clinic with our official sponsor, Norton, who provides U.S. Speed Skating with our Speed Skating Sharpening Kits. In it contains three burr stones of three different abrasiveness and sizes, three different sharpening stones, two of them with different abrasiveness on each, each side of them, and then the Arkansas Marble Stone, and also the Norton Sharpening Stone Solution. And now I'm going to show you how to sharpen speed skates. First, you need a speed skating jig, like this one here, and you need to mount your skates in the jig so that they are level. Um, the goal of spe sharpening speed skates, as you see on the board here, is to first, with your sharpening stones, like these here, to get a burr on your skate, similar to this here. Once you have a burr and have it smooth, you'll go to with a deburring stone, similar to this one here, and push that burr, fold it over, similar to this picture here, which we call an overburr. If the overburr is too big, you'll want to go back to a softer or a smoother stone, similar to this one here, and push that burr back over. So once again, you can take a burr stone and hopefully cut that burr off, and your optimal end is a perfectly square skate, like this picture here. Because my skates aren't that bad right now, I'm going to start with this orange abrasive here, go to the gray abrasive on this side of the stone, and then finish off with a marble. To start off, I'm going to take the orange abrasive and put some Norton stone solution on here to loop up the stone. Put an even coat all over your stone and begin sharpening. As you can see, I'm starting all the way on one side and going all the way to the other without pushing at all, just using the weight of the stone to let it do the work. After a few strokes, you're going to want to turn your skates around to also ensure that you're getting even pressure all the way across your skates and not pushing more in one spot than another. After doing that for a while, you want to feel if you have a burr evenly all the way up and down the sides of your blades. If not, you should continue doing that. If you already do, then it's time to move on to the next stone. The next stone I'm using is this gray stone here. Make sure the stone is clean before starting. Once again, using the sharpening solution, evenly across the whole stone. And again, starting from the back, going all the way to the front, and not pushing at all, just the weight of the stone do the work. And once again, turning it around to ensure evenness all throughout the skate. After doing that for a while, you want to look at your surface of your skate and make sure you don't have big lines in the flat of the skate. I'm going to finish off with a Norton Arkansas marble, marble stone. It's very similar to the one you would get in your kit. Some people don't use any sharpening solution with their marble stones. Um, I do not, but you're more than welcome to. Some people also use water with their marble stones. You want to make sure before you start with your marble stone that your blades, once again, are wiped down. And then begin with your marble stone. Exact same thing. All the way front to back, not pushing at all, letting the weight of the stone do the work. You'll see as you're sharpening that the surface will be getting shinier and shinier, almost like a mirror. And again, we're going to turn them around and make sure we get even pressure throughout the blades. After you're done with the marble stone, you're going to want to once again make sure that you still have an even burr all the way throughout your skate. 
and you want to use your fingernails and check all the way up and down your blade to make sure you have an even burr all the way through. If you can hear that, it's my fingernails running over that burr that I have evenly all the way down the skate. You want to check all four edges to make sure that burr is even everywhere. After you're done using your stones and you have that even burr and that nice polished finish on your skate, you want to take your skates out of your jig. Once again, wipe them down with your rag to ensure they're clean. And now we're going to move on to our deburring. So currently your skate kind of looks like this right here. It has a nice even burr all the way through on both sides of your skate. What we want to do is take this stone and hopefully get to this, maybe get this. And take a rag, take a stone just like this one, just a little bit used right now, my favorite stone. Take it and run it up and down your skate, pushing firmly but evenly. If you want to notice, the stone is completely flat and on the skate. You don't want the stone tilted this way, you don't want to tilt it this way. You just want it to be completely flat with even pressure, back and forth, to cut or fold that burr over. Hopefully, cut that burr off. After doing that for a while, you'll go with your fingernail again to see if there's any burr left. If the burr is gone, you'll also want to go the opposite way from the flat of your skate, feeling this way, to see if you do have what we call the overburr, which is what's on the board here, a picture of the overburr. I do not have an overburr, which is a good thing, so I'll go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Once again, checking to see if there's a burr and an overburr. Some skaters choose to skate with a very small overburr. Some choose to skate with no overburr at all. A skate would optimally, without an overburr, would look like this right here. And to feel for sharpness, you, what I do is take my thumb and run down your blade like this to feel how much it's gripping your thumb. Some people use a fingernail and pull and how much it's gripping their fingernail. Opposed, if it wasn't sharp at all, it would just slide off. Here it will grip and you'll see parts of your fingernail get left behind, but it's showing that it's nice and sharp. You'll want to do the same thing on your other skate. Now what to do if you have an overburr that you don't want? You're going to put your skates back in your jig. Make sure with your levelers, they're level once again just like you did when you first put them in the jig. And start off with the smoothest stone possible, which hopefully will just be the Arkansas marble that I'm using. And once again, go over your skates and push that overburr that you don't want either off or back over to get another burr. And once again we're going to keep the even pressure all the way through, not pushing at all, letting the stone do the work all the way to the front and all the way to the back, switching around halfway through getting that nice polished edge, nice polished look and again, taking your skate out. Taking your rag, taking your burr stone, and deburring once again. And right now my edge is very good. There's not a burr anywhere. There's actually zero over burr, which is a great thing. So what my skate should look like under a microscope is this right here, perfectly square blade. When sharpening with your Norton stones, you want to start with your most abrasive edges and go to your least abrasive. You don't always have to start with the most abrasive, it's just whatever's needed at the time with how bad your skates are. I started with the orange on this sharpening, went to, the, went to this lighter gray, and then finally to the marble. 
Some people might want to start with something a little bit rougher, like one of these two edges, and then gradually working your way down without skipping any steps and finishing once again with your marble stud. And then after getting your nice burr on your skate, you'll choose one of these Norton deburring stones. This is the one I prefer to hopefully cut that burr completely off or to cut it off enough that a little bit might fold over into an over burr. Once again, going back to your marble stone and then cutting the final bit off again with your burr stone. It's important to sharpen your skates to maintain a good quality pair of skates and to get good grip onto the ice. Most athletes sharpen their skates a couple times a week, usually prior to uh, big practices and prior to competitions. The dirtier the ice, the more often you need to sharpen. The cleaner the ice, the less often you need to sharpen. Sharpening speed skates can take a various amount of times. Um, the more often you do it, the less time it will take. Um, it could take anywhere from 10 minutes up to a half hour, depending on how bad your skates are. This Norton Sharpening Kit at usspeedskating.org.